Hello, hello, this is Mac Potty continuing my tutorial for Annie 20... Annie? Anno 2070. Right, uh, I've done the title screen, so now we'll move straight into the specifics of the game. Updating coordinates. Uh, I'll just bring this up so you can see what I mean. Go to game settings, right. Okay, you've got characters, you've got your factions, Eden and Global Trust. Uh, Eco is easier. Uh, Eco are probably the easier choice of a faction from what I've seen. They're a lot easier to play compared to Global Trust. Uh, an example of this is Eden don't affect the Eco balance as much as the Global Trust. So if you're starting a new game I would recommend Eden Initiative since they're a lot easier to play. Right, we got what I well I think we got two or three types of AI. Right, the first is this woman here, Tilda. She is an expanding party, but she's neutral. She won't go to war with you or try to attack you. You've got the second type, which is these ones here. They aren't expanding. They just have a sm they just have one arc on the map and you can trade with them and they give you missions. Trench coat is similar, but he pops up from time to time. Uh, and we got the final one, which are the ones that are aggressive to you, like Thor, uh, Hector. Uh, you can see kind of here, just by the look of them, who's going to be aggressive towards you and who isn't. Okay. All right, we'll start with an easy game so we can go into the basics of the actual game. So blah blah blah, just do all this. Positive, one warehouse, start with merchant fleet, you'll see why once we get onto it. Start with licenses, reveal map on, just to make things easier. Yep. You can see all this here. This is how you set up a continuous game. And you s I like this little feature, it will show you how difficult the game will be at the bottom based on the settings that you use. So as you can see here, it's going to be very, very easy. Right, so, start the mission. <coughs> uh, while it's loading, what can I tell you about? Um, we'll probably just come up across stuff as it comes and I can explain what you need to do with it and why it happens, etc. Okay, and here we go. Instructions received. Right. Loading Eve is your system. personal AI. She helps you with certain tasks, she'll tell you when a quest is opened, she'll tell you what happens, all that kind of stuff. But you can see here, this is the continuous, uh, sorry, this is the daily quest that comes up, so I need to deliver 35 tools to a ship at sea. So we can do that now. Yeah. Right, just plonk these in here, what's it say, 5 tools. Right, so this is your arc. As uh, where is it? There we go. Its health is indestructible, so you don't have to worry about it being destroyed. Uh, this is basically where you would be. You're you're inside that arc, commanding the area. Now, Anno is most Anno is mostly a naval game because it's set in the future. If you haven't seen the story, it's uh, set in the future. 2070, and the world's flooded from global warming, so there's only patches of land left, these islands, that you populate. So most, pretty much everything is naval, with a little bit of aerial units. So you've got your command ship here, so plug tools back in, and get rid of them. 
Let me just give you extra supplies, which are going to come in handy. Right, so, at the top here, you can see basic information about an island. You've got your mini-map, controls, diplomacy, trading routes, demolish mode, uh, warehouses, idle vehicles, so forth. Uh, these are your quests and news. Anything below the cogs are quests, anything above are events and updates. So as you can see here, someone's acquired land, I've got more construction options, and my quest is here. So we'll start with the quest and get that out of the way, just to show you how it works. So I put all this in here, what was it, 35, yeah. Right, so I've got what I need, and now I need to know where to go. So you just hover over it, and you can see on the mini-map there, it's showing me where to go. So this over here, plus the marker. So, speed this up with plus. Registering readiness <coughs> to complete the quest. Click OK to complete the quest. Confirm. And that's done. That's the daily quest done. You can see how simple it is. You just do that every day and you get easy career points. <coughs> Although you can only do one a day and for one faction. So you should probably do it for the faction you want to play. You can't initially be the techs, which are the science people. You unlock them as you play. But you can't actually select them during an initial match. So, we'll start with the island. This is your island. Alright, we'll go through here. You can see what seeds are currently on the island. So we've got tea, rice and coffee. We've got the energy being generated, which is six. We've got the eco-balance. And we've got supplies, tools and building modules. You can open this up and you can see more information here. Mine sites, the amount of resources that are on the island. So you can see here there's no gold and there's no sand, but there's plenty of others. Right, you've got up here is your licenses. You trade this for special advances, which you go here from the arc. You go to politics. You've got the World Council guy here. And you can choose these, which you exchange licenses to activate. You can see the information as you play the game you unlock the new ones. There's four in total here. Upgrades tab, it's all pretty basic. Right, so <coughs> let's start with filling up the warehouse with supplies. So there we go, it's all as full as it can be. Now you've got your balance which is how much money you're making or losing. At the moment I'm losing 40. And you've got your overall credits here. It's not instant, if you get what I mean. It's over time. I'm not going to lose 40 every single time. I'm going to lose 4, gain 3, lose 7, gain 6, and very slowly lose my credits. Uh, you've got your population, which just shows the amount of people that you've got. It's not terribly useful, but it's, it's there. So, first thing we need to do is build some of these. Right. Ah, okay. Right. You've got two stages here, as you can see. Right. You click what you want, what you want to build, which is here, and then you've got two requirements in order to build it, as you can see here. So you've got stage one and then stage two. So we'll build stage one first, and then stage two next to it, like so. This is what I would call a farming building. You need to actually place these sort of farming attachments to it, like add-ons for a building. Now that will continue to generate these, the granules, 
and the granules will be transported to the smelter to make building modules and building modules are important those are what you need to build right. uh, ornamental buildings are just pretty, you don't need them which are here you, yeah, you can place them if you want, it's not necessary a tool shed just makes your town or city look nicer you've got your arc buildings which are the very basics of what you need so you've got depots which act as a warehouse on land and you've got your roads and you've got underwater warehouse no, that's not underwater warehouse, sorry but that's greyed out because you can only have one warehouse per island uh, roads you will need to attach buildings because without the roads the only thing that can transport goods are the flying transports here and the warehouse has one and depots get one at maximum upgrade level so we'll just build a road to connect these buildings and then we see the little transports going back and forth delivering the supplies, that's all automatic so you, need, you don't need to worry about that Right, and that's all you need to do for building the modules nice and simple second stage is getting workers workers generate income and unlock new buildings so we start with a town hall or city centre, whatever you want to call it as such <coughs> I like to do it this way I do it in a kind of spiral outside that's how I build it, you might want to build it differently it's completely up to you right, now we've built the city centre we unlock houses so, we just place these Construction opportunities expanded. just place them all around oops There we go. Right. Here's the first things you need to know about having workers. Isn't it gorgeous here? Oh, life can Shut be up. so good. Right, a little smiley face shows that people are moving in. As you can see here, there's currently one out of eight residents. That will increase over time there, too. You've got your maximum and maximum possible. So that's per house. The one you sorry, the one that you clicked on and all your houses on this island, the HP, and so forth. This will stop the house from upgrading. It's only useful in certain circumstances that you probably won't need to come into. You've got your generated wealth coming in from this type of population. Oh, life can be so, so 23, good. it's increasing as the number of residents move in. You have your tax slider here, which sets the level of tax. This is important. If it's too high, they're going to be unhappy and start moving out. If it's too low, you're not going to get a lot of money. Generally, at the start, you want it on the light green, which is level 2. It's low enough that they're happy, and they'll move in. But it's high... it's a little bit higher than the minimum so you get a little bit of extra money which will come in handy if you set it too high to yellow to they're not happy enough to move in but they're not unhappy enough to move out at the minimum level they will upgrade anything higher than minimum level they won't upgrade which we can explore later on so leave that on too we have the workers needs here so they need food, community, drink, and activity. These are greyed out because you haven't unlocked them yet. So the only two we've got unlocked is food and community. Here with you a good community idea. is being connected to a city centre. If I remove that, the community is gone, they're very unhappy, they move out. Food, level one, is fish. So, fish gets used up over time based on the level of your population. So right now I've got 19, over time that will decrease. I haven't got many, so it will be decreasing very slowly. So next we want fisheries. Build those two. I like to build a little extra. That's just how I play this game. 
You don't need to... You only need one right now. One is plenty. But I build two so that the, the storage is full. Okay. Right. Uh, build an extra... Two of these. Registering no, three of these, sorry. Package. Not three of these. Oh, uh, you can automatically place the add-ons as such. Like that. Automatically places them. But I prefer placing them myself. Because it's strategically better. You can better arrange the placement so you've got more space. Like that. Okay, so as you can see, we're out of energy. We're at minus two, so let's build level one energy production, which is a wind puck. Just plonk that, done. Now we've got plenty of energy. You can turn production or generation buildings on and off, as such. It will halve eco balance effect and maintenance costs. Obviously, deleting them completely will completely remove the upkeep and effects, but we need From them, scanner? so sometimes you'll need them, and depending on the difficulty, it will affect what will happen when you erase a building. Since this is on easy, you get everything back, whatever supplies you use to build a building, you get 100% back. On normal mode, you get half back, so for a road, it's five credits to build, on half, you get two back and on hard difficulty you get nothing back so you need to be careful as you place okay <coughs> second step as you can see here we've unlocked T now because we've got enough residents so now they want T so let's build some production for T uh, I prefer having things spaced out so I know where everything is so we put a depot here depot acts as a drop-off point for supplies. For instance, if we wanted to build a tea plantation here, we can't build it because it's out of range of anything that can pick it up. But since now we've got this, we can build it here. So we'll get two of these, one there and one there. Connect with a road, as usual. Green shows that it's connected to the building. And that's the autosave feature. So, and there we go. You can see three out of three. That's how many add-ons are needed. If you don't build enough add-ons, it's less effective. So 66% with two, with one, 33%. Build them, build as many as you want, and it, sorry, as many as you need and it increases the productivity. There's no point in building extra. As you can see, four is still 100%, so building extra is pointless. Uh, what's next? Right, I should probably explain why we're filling their needs. When all, these, when all their needs are met, they will upgrade to the next level of population. That's what you're needed to do in most continuous games. Uh, improves basically your civilization. Okay, so for that, uh, okay, for buildings, you can see what you need to unlock it. It says it there. To access this building, you require 144 eco workers. We currently have 112, so we need more houses. So we expand in a spiral, which is how I like to build it. Like that. Connected to a road, of course, because otherwise it won't work. And now we build more houses. You can see the supplies that are being used up to build. That's two building modules for houses. Oops. Back. I've got 100% back, because this is easy, just for tutorial purposes. And there we go. Maybe life here isn't so perfect, but as they're well. increasing, right, we're going to have 288 maximum. That's double what we need, so that's fine. Just 
continue filling up storage. And there we go. That's telling you that you've unlocked new buildings. As you can see here, we've unlocked the concert hall. Yeah, let me just pick up these building modules from the Ark. The speed of the ship gets affected by how much it's carrying. So the more the ship has, the slower it will go. Which is realistic. Uh, the commando ship isn't a very effective transport unit. It's a, f it's a, balanced, sh a balanced military vehicle. As you can see here, it can do damage to air units and ships and buildings, but nothing to submarines. You can see the cost of it. Maintenance costs, 30 credits. Okay, so we just put the building supplies in. Right. Back up to high building supplies. Ah, as you can see here, my balance is now positive, which means I'm making money, because I've got enough you workers. Dad, we'll work it out somehow. Okay, so... As you can see now, we've unlocked activity. And drink, as you can see here, is filling up over time. Nothing on this game is really instant. It's all... Uh, I'm not sure, really sure of the word. It's all... It takes its time. Even though I've probably got quite a lot of tea. Yeah, five tea. It's still taking a while to 